in terms of the steps that go into um, membership, I, I wanted to talk in a little more detail about both Six Colors and The Incomparable, uh, two different two different products with two different audiences, although there's some overlap because they have me in common. And so there's some people who are interested in all the stuff I do and they, they can sign up for both of them. Six Colors is a free technology site. And the fact is that advertising on the web for writing is not a really growth market right now, believe it or not. The, uh, there, are, there are, are growth areas in other parts of, uh, of web media um, or, or digital media like podcasting where I'm seeing a lot of growth. But in terms of the writing side, basically there's a membership that is, the way it's presented is very much support the site in terms of being able to continue to generate content and give it away for free. And then in exchange, uh, subscribers get access to a special podcast and a monthly newsletter that is exclusive to members. And actually we're going to build some community features on top of that as well. On the incomparable it's, you know, it's podcasts. Podcasts are very difficult to monetize from a sales perspective. The whole format is open unless you build an app and put it up behind a paywall, which is very unlikely to succeed unless you're a big name already. You are giving your podcast away, which means advertising and subscribers are the two ways to, or, or um, supporters are the two ways to, to generate uh, income from doing those podcasts. So with the incomparable, I had a realization that we had some podcasts that had fairly small listenership. It was in the thousands, you know, it was many thousands, but it was not at the level where if you talk to an ad network like Midroll, they'll tell you you need 20, 30, 40,000, depending on your subject matter, in order for them to really pay attention and want to sell ads. And I had these smaller podcasts that were in the five or 10,000 range. And they have, you know, dedicated user base, but a very small, even if we could sell ads, the cost per thousand sales number for those, you ended up with ads that were generating, you know, $100 an episode or something like that, a very small amount of money. And I did a back of the envelope calculation and realized that for the smaller podcast with a dedicated audience, it was far more likely that I could get a tiny fraction of the people who listen to donate that, and become members in a membership plan than to, the, it, would, it would swamp the advertising potential really easily. And that was the impetus to start the incomparable membership where people get some bonus material. And again, this sort of feeling of support because it's not an illusion. Um, it, it's actually enabling those creators of those podcasts to uh, either prioritize it or to bring in somebody to help in the production and post-production of the, of the podcasts, or it gives them a good feeling and some money to spend on a, on a, whether it's a nice dinner or on a vacation or something like that. So those are the two different membership models that I've been working with. And they're similar, but the content makes them a little bit different.